welcome to Skane Studio. My name is Kristen. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry as K10 and on Instagram as Skane Yarn. Uh, today is Thursday, July the 27th, and this is episode 56. I uh, hope you're all well. Um, I've been very good. I've gotten over all my illnesses, which is great. Um, yeah, I've been really busy. I actually uh, meant to podcast last week but then we ended up going down to my parents place uh, to see my parents obviously my grandmother who's um, in a nursing home up there she's uh, 96 and I also caught up with my brother and his partner Claudia so it was very nice um, yeah I just it's been busy we had visitors um, a few weeks ago now I think it's two to three weeks uh, we had Paul's parents up and I gave Sue the cardigan and she loved it. It fitted her really well. I'm just so pleased. Um, so yeah, that was great. The colors suited her. Um, yeah, it was all, all good. Uh, yeah, just busy with stuff. Um, we're also getting ready, obviously, to go away at the end of August. Uh, still a bit of time left, another month or few weeks. I think it's four weeks. Um, until we go away, but um, yeah, we've been uh, booking accommodation and uh, booking cars and um, reading up about where we wanted to go and what we want to do. So yeah, that's been taking up a lot of time as well. And then there's work. Uh, I've been busy at the studio. I've been um, dying up quite a lot of yarn. I've been stockpiling it so when we go away, um, when we return, I'll have uh, lots of yarn in uh, stock to put on the shop uh, so I don't have to come back and get straight into the dyeing. Uh, so yeah, it's just been busy. Um, but yeah, finally I've been able to um, sneak in a podcast and yeah, it's great. Um, our knit along that we had going, the podcast knit along, is finished. Um, we I drew the winners this week. I think it was was it Wednesday? I can't remember. No, it wasn't yesterday. Anyway, it was at the beginning of this week. Uh, that was a sock knit along, and um, I still have to send the prizes. I actually meant to do it today when we went in this morning to the studio, but I accidentally left all the yarn and things here, just, just down there. So I'll do that on Monday, I think. Um, but yeah, so the podcast knit along, yeah, it's over. We should try and have another one. I'm not sure what you guys want to uh, knit. Um, if you have suggestions, let me know, it'd be great. Um, I'm thinking of taking a few um, things away on holidays. Uh, I have, I'll talk about that a bit later, but I've planned to take a sweater and a, I'm gonna definitely take a pair of vanilla socks and also um, a shawl. So yeah, let me know what you guys wanna knit. We should do another podcast knit along because they're always fun. Uh, the other knit along we have going is the skein knit along, which is um, the skein sweater knit along. Uh, so uh, it's just sweaters knit out of skein yarn. Um, that will finish at the end of August. I will be away, but Kylie, uh, who is one of the um, forum mods, she's going to be drawing prizes for that, which would be great. And we have the lovely uh, ganache, uh, made by ganache bag, which is, it's all folded up, but it's a huge sweater size bag in this gorgeous fabric. Uh, link to her shop is in the show notes. Please go check her out. She's got loads of um, gorgeous bags. Um, she makes them um, perfectly. They're really, really nice, good quality bags. So yes, um, so let's get into what I've been working on. No, finished object first. I'm actually wearing it. Um, I cast on, uh, it was like two weeks ago, I think, the Aura Shaw. It's actually pronounced with a heavy H, but I can't say it. It's O-H-R-A. It's actually a Finnish word for barley. Um, this is by Caitlin Hunter. And yeah, I cast it on, might have even been less than two weeks ago, but I've 
had so much fun knitting on this. That's it here. Um, so it's just a basic triangular shawl with um, this really nice uh, simple cable that runs down the spine. It's got lots of texture in the pattern. There's stocking it, there's this little um, reach of garter. Uh, you've got these eyelet lace sections and then right down the bottom the border is just a simple uh, rib. The other thing that I'm going to add, so it's kind of finished but not really finished. See here, it's a little tassel. So you line all of the edges where you've got the eyelets in these tassels and I will be doing that but I just haven't got around to it yet. So it's, it's finished but it's not really. Um, I did stuff up one of the cables. Can't even find it now. It's not bad. Oh, there it is. It's only if you really, really look for it. Um, I can't even see it. It's around there. Uh, what happened was I uh, was I stuffed up the eyelets because it's you know K2 yarn over K2 yarn over and um, after a while I just I was doing fine and then all of a sudden I stuffed that up so I had to unpick a couple of rows and then um, I sort of got confused with the um, cable pattern and I thought I'd gotten it right but then I didn't notice it actually until I'd finished the shawl and then I realized that the cable was a bit wonky anyway it doesn't matter um, I loved this pattern I just um, there's so many things you can do with it I love uh, knitting projects with lots of color um, sorry about the noise there's lots of construction going on next door or across the road. Anyway, um, basically the pattern is, uh, it has two main colours, so this is main colour one and then this darker purple is the second main colour. And then you use um, mini skeins, at least 20 grams she has in her pattern and it's for these areas here. So I used a sterling which is a light grey and then this colour here was scribbly gum so it's sort of a pinky grey and I did that on purpose I wanted them to I didn't really want really um, contrasting stripes in those sections so I wanted it kind of to blend so it did that um, I did actually use four uh, full skeins because I wasn't quite sure if these sections would actually be um, 20 gram skein would be enough to finish them, but it would, without a doubt, it, no, easily, without any problems. Um, so I have quite a lot of yarn left, but that's fine, I will find a use for it. Um, the yarn I used is uh, my yarn skein, and I used um, MCN sock for all of the colours except for this one. This one has um, Stellina in it. So this is our shimmer base. So this is Beach Shack sh uh, Shimmer. Then I have um, Scribbly Gum and Sterling uh, MCN Sock. And then this last colour is Night Owl and that's MCN Sock as well. And the tassels, I'm going to be um, doing them out of the variegated uh, Scribbly Gum. So they're sort of going to have like little flashes of pink and green and uh, grey. So yeah, very, very happy. Um, I seem to have quite an obsession with Caitlin Hunter at the moment because I'm also doing her, um, uh, what's it called? Sunset Highway sweater. So we might as well go and talk about that. This is not gonna work now. Um, so yes, she she's sort of a newish designer. Um, she's got quite a few patterns and they're all just stunning. Um, so this one really caught my eye, talking about knitting with colour. Um, this is a Fair Isle pattern. So this is the Sunset Highway by Caitlin Hunter. And it's been doing the rounds of um, social media, so you've probably seen it. 
but this is it. So this is the yolk section at the top. Um, I've got these, I've actually put it on really um, small circumference needles and I'm hoping Okay, so the sweater itself is like five to six inches of positive ease, so it's huge. And I wanted it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm knitting the extra small size. I'm usually small to medium, um, but I'm knitting the extra small size, and it, I think the total bust circumference was 36, so I'm 34 inches, so it'd be two inches positive ease. So that sounds great to me. It's just, a, it's going to be um, comfortable. So not tight, but comfortable. Anyway, I did get gauge on the recommended needles and um, I think you increase, like you cast on for the, the neck um, and then you do a few short rows to lift the back of the neck up. So it sits nicely on you when you wear it. Um, and then you get into the um, ferrule section. And then you start doing some increases. And I think you only increase three times. And that's it. So I read the pattern before I started. But then I didn't realize that you were increasing um, only a couple of times. I mean, they're big increases. It's like knit two, make one. Got fur hair on me now. Ah, oh, where is that coming from? I don't know whether it's cat hair or it's um, fluff from the yarn. Anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so I have these on small, like cir circumference needles. So I'm hoping I can't really stretch it out at the moment, but I'm hoping it's going to fit. I mean, that's just the neck, but it should be okay. I mean, it might be a bit tighter than I expected, although I don't know, maybe it'll stretch quite a bit. I could take it off these needles and try it on, but I just couldn't be bothered. But it's looking fantastic. Um, so I'm using uh, skein yarn again. Oh, I've got this piece of, ah, oh, there it goes. It was cat fur. I'm using skein yarn. It's the it's our Uptown sock base, which is a single ply, um, and her pattern actually has her original design is actually made with a single ply yarn that is very similar um, to ours. So um, the pattern calls for four colours, um, and the top colour here I'm using is like a really deep blue purple, which is um, Metropolis. Then I have a speckle dye which is um, this one here that is Blush Crush. Then uh, you go back to the Metropolis and then the um, third colour is Speckled Mint which is a nice bright. Well actually it's really it's quite a soft um, minty green but it has these bright pops of yellow it's really pretty it never photographs properly it always photographs really bright where it's not really that bright it's actually quite a pastel-y color um, but anyway that's the third color and then the fourth color and main color which is the body is this one so it's this is called ghost so that will be the bottom and I have about two rounds left of the metropolis and speckled mint before I add in the main color. Um, the sleeves also have um, it's like a band of ferrule near the elbow. Just I think it's like just up from the elbow. So I was debating whether or not to put that in, but I am. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's very addictive. I just keep wanting to knit on it. Um, and I and you knit like I've been knitting a lot of it. Um, it's actually knitting up really fast. I I it's been ages since I've done color work, and I found my top section at the at the top of the yoke. It's actually quite tight. Um, it'll block out okay, but it's not the greatest. And also, what happened was 
there was um, quite a few stitches in between colour changes, so it was like um, knit four and then colour change and then knit nine, and I wasn't catching the uh, float um, in, in between the nine stitches, I was just letting it go. Um, it's not bad. That's it on the inside. But it can catch. So what I ended up doing is I YouTubed it um, as to how to catch floats on the back. I knew how to do it with one colour because, you know, I've been doing the colour work um, in both hands at the same time. So I am an English um, knitter like where you throw. But I have been doing the continental as well. And I knew how to do the pick up the float with the continental but not with the English so I had to YouTube it which was fantastic and yeah so I've been doing that and it's working out much better the there's a lot less slack on the back of the uh, knitting and it's actually helped to um, loosen my knitting up so it's actually not as tight as the top um, so yeah really really enjoying it it's going quickly and the only thing is I hope that the yoke is going to be wide enough. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. If it's not, I've decided that when I get to knitting the main colour, just before I do um, I'll separate the body and the sleeves, I might actually put um, the stitches on the needles and just check. And then if it is a little bit too tight, I'm going to do another round of increases. And that should be fine then, hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words. So yeah, that's it. So that is Sunset Highway by Caitlin Hunter. Uh, she has a lovely Instagram um, feed. It's Boyland Knitworks. Put all this information in the show notes. Um, and we, I love this pattern so much that I decided to do kits for it. Or not kits, but put together color combinations for the shop so I've been busy I did that last week so I'm a week ahead with my um, updates as in I dye it a week ahead and plan it um, and they came out really really nicely I've done this as a kit so you can these colors that I'm knitting mine as one kit and then I've got a few others um, and they go up on Friday and I posted about it on Instagram today and there was quite a lot of response so it's great and it's fun too I mean I know it's so hard to pick colors online particularly for something like this because you're not really quite sure if they're gonna match I mean you can always email and ask but it's it's rare I guess um, with a company like ours and most hand dye companies where you know you're hand dyeing yarn and you don't have an abundance of stock and you can't have like 50 colors all ready all the time um, so it's hard to make sure that you get all the colors that you need or that you like so it's really nice when um, hand dyers put together uh, colors um, color combos because you can just go in and, and pick them and I guess it's handy too uh, the way that I like to do it is I like to put um, color combinations on the shop as single skeins so I'll do like a blog post about it and I'll photograph all the yarns together because I know there are a lot of people who for instance might like three of these oh, damn three of the colors you know that I have but may not like this mint green so they might want to swap one color out and that's really easy to do when you've got you know already three together and you just want to swap one out so that's why I list all of the yarns separately so you can swap and change as you like so yes loving 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 that pattern it's really really nice um, I don't think I'll have it ready to wear this year I mean I'll definitely have it finished but by the time it's finished we'll be heading to Greece I think um, and then when we get back that'll be October and it starts getting warm here in October so that's fine I can have it all ready to go for next year. Um, the what else? I don't have any other finished objects, but um, I have whips. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just spoke about a whip. The other whip that I have is my bloom socks, and these are just vanilla socks. Um, 
I'm still knitting on this. Um, um, the Sunset Highway and the Ora Shore, Ora Shore, however you say it. Um, they've been taking up most of my time because I've been enjoying knitting on them. But every now and again, I pick up a sock, particularly at night when I, if I'm feeling a bit tired, I can just knit on this. Uh, this is top draw sock on. Um, no, it's not. It's uh, everyday sock. Yes, it's our new everyday sock. It's just as soft as our top drawer sock, but it's a little bit more sturdy. It's got a little bit more nylon, and I think it's applied a bit um, tighter, so it'll wear better. Um, and this is in our Bloom colorway, which is, um, it's dyed half and half. So half green and then the other half is speckled and then when you knit, the, knit that type of um, yarn up into socks you get this cool little micro striping going on. So yeah, they're my projects for the moment. Um, so when Paul's parents came up, um, came to visit, uh, we took them out lots. We went to lots of different places. One of them was Bellingen and while the, we were there I stopped in to Weave, uh, which is, I've spoken about Weave before, it's um, Bellingen's sort of craft store. It has lots of different things, painting, um, I don't know if it's got sewing, I can't remember, but they have craft books and most importantly knitting. Um, they actually had a basket uh, of uh, hedgehog fibers which was rather exciting. Um, they didn't have many colors left I'm guessing they probably sold out but um, yeah I had a look at those that was really nice. Um, I did actually pick up I didn't pick up any hedgehog fibers because I actually do have a, a few of those in my stash but what I did pick up was um, just a basic sock yarn um, it's just a Debbie Bliss it's called Rialto Luxury Sock i um, pretty sure this has mohair in it. No, it doesn't. But it's very, um, it's got a lot of halo in it. So it's just wool and nylon, which is interesting. Uh, but it's a uh, striping, like a colour block striping yarn. So I thought that would be fun. It's so soft. Um, yeah, but other than that, I haven't bought any because I'm saving my money for our trip. Um, I do have a few things that I want in it. Um, so I've been looking at patterns that I want to take overseas and obviously I want something, I want a big, well biggish uh, project. So I wanted either a, a sweater or a cardigan. Um, but something that's quite easy just to pick up and knit. Um, I was also after a, um, a shawl and, uh, and socks, like I already said, just a vanilla pair. Um, so the jumper that I'm thinking of taking is the So Faded Sweater by Andrea Mowry. Uh, she had a birthday sale last, oh no, it was beginning, beginning of this week. Um, so I picked up that pattern during the sale. Um, I'll put a picture in. You would all know the uh, So Faded sweater. It's pretty um, famous. Uh, and also her, oh, what's it called? Faded um, shawl. So the So Faded sweater, she has, um, she actually knitted up in five different colorways and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm in the process of deciding which colors to use. I'm definitely going to use one of them. Um, I'm going to use one as a, like a um, semi-solid color, whether that be the lightest or the darkest, I'm not sure. And then the rest will all be speckled. And um, I am going to dye them up for myself. And then if I like it, and I'm happy with it then I'm going to probably do a few kits because I've had a lot of customers ask for um, some um, yarns for the uh, faded um, shawl am I saying that right? faded? I can't remember the name of it now anyway 
so I thought if I do kits for, the, or not kits, but if I dye up colours for the so faded sweater, then um, you can use those yarns for the shawl. So that's one of them. Um, I'm also looking at doing a shawl by Amber O'Brien, and I didn't write it down. I'll just check it. I'll just find what it is. Yes, yeah, so the pattern is Mariana by Amber O'Brien, uh, and it's really pretty shawl. I'll put a picture in. Um, so again, it's using two colours. Um, is that? So yeah, it's got lace both on the top and the bottom border and then stripes. It's so pretty. Um, so I'm thinking of taking that one away, that pattern away with me. So it just it's just a little bit more um, complicated than the sweater. So if I'm just sitting down at night and we're watching a movie at the end of the day or we're just having drinks or whatever, I can just pick that up and um, yeah, need it. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this episode. I feel like I've just quickly run through it. I hope I haven't missed anything. I don't think so. So I hope you're all well and I um, hope you're having lots of um, fun knitting. And um, yes, please tell me what you want to knit with the, with the next knit along. Uh, whether it be shawls, whether you want to focus on a designer or um, I don't know focus on a certain technique I'd really like to hear it um, give me some ideas and before the next uh, podcast I'll decide and then we'll start a new knit along and that means I can maybe yeah take something overseas and knit on it while I'm over there um, and I do hope to get another podcast out, at least one. I'm hoping two before we go away, but I will definitely be podcasting again. Um, one at least. Uh, yeah, so have a wonderful week uh, or two weeks until I see you next time. Um, thanks for uh, watching and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.